dark and dusty road, tramps a soldier with his load. has to spend will his journey never end Marching home, marching on his way. all the day soon he will be home to stay phew this isn't a bad sort of spot join the army I've had my luck always on trek not a penny to bless it's truth my kit's in a hell of a mess where's my Saint Joseph he looks in his pack for a lucky medallion he has with the face of his namesake, St. Joseph, engraved on the back. Good. There we are. He starts rummaging, brings up some packages tied up with string, brings up cartridges, rummages on. Here's a mirror with most of the silvering gone. Where's her picture? That mustn't be missed. The picture his girlfriend gave him the day he went to enlist. Ah, here it is. And right in the middle, he brings out an old brown fiddle. It didn't cost much. The tune's not rich. You have to keep screwing it up to pitch. The soldier begins to play. The devil appears. He is a little old man carrying a butterfly net.
give me your fiddle. No. Sell it me. No. I'll give you this book for it then. I can't read. Makes no difference. There's no need. With this book, you don't have to read. It's more than a book. It's wealth untold. You've only to open it. Lo and behold, banknotes, bearer bonds, and gold. Well, I should want to have a look. Certainly, certainly. Here's the book. On sight. Collateral. Note of hand. Uh, this book's not easy to understand. I can read it all right, but it's still Greek to me. You'll get the hang of it. Wait and see. But look, if it's worth all that money, sir, this little job, that old fiddle of mine you want only cost a few bob. So, you have a real bargain. Right then, it's a deal. On site, collateral, note of hand, market quotations for Friday the 31st. What day's today? It's a Tuesday. Why, it's Tuesday the 28th. What's this? Here's a book that's ahead of the date. Strange sort of book. It tells you things before they happen. Come home with me now. What do you say? Why? What's up? This thing won't play. You must teach me to make it go. <laughs> I've only ten days leave, you know. I shall lend you my carriage and pair. If you walk, you'll be much more slow. Mother will worry if I'm late. It's not the first time she's had to wait. And my girlfriend expects me too. You'll make it up to her soon. She'll be all the more pleased when you do. This place of yours? Is it abroad? Wined, dined, all found, full bed and board, home in a carriage like a lord. Two or three days, a step out of your way, and then you'll be rich as the king of Cathay. What sort of vittles down your way? Steak, egg, and chips three times a day. And a drink? Champagne rosé. Smoking permitted. What do you say to Havana? Havana cigars. Now what do you say? Well, there you are then. That's the way. That's how you want it. That's the trick. Joseph goes home with old Nick. And he finds that the old boy doesn't cheat. New clothes, soft beds, and plenty to eat. Yes, Joseph is properly done up a treat, and each shows the other as they undertook the way of the fiddle and the way of the book. Yes, the old fellow kept his word. Two days well spent, and then came the third. That morning, the old man wakes Joseph as soon as it's light, and he says... Are you ready? And Joseph says, right. Did you have a good night? And Joseph says, yes. And the devil looks on as he gets up to dress. Have you any complaints? And Joseph says, no. Right you are, says old Nick. Then off we go. They get in the carriage waiting below, and the devil says, hop, and off they go. Only Joseph watching the horse's flying feet, finds himself holding on with both hands to his seat, with all his might, till his tick knuckles are white. Hold tight, cries the old man, hold on tight. Joseph would like to get up and jump out, but he hasn't a chance. Take care, cries the devil. See how my horses prance. They'll lead us a dance. They're taking the air, take care. And the carriage is suddenly traveling up, in the air, hurtling, rattling, rolling around the sky, and Joseph's hair stands on end and he nearly faints. 
Have you any complaints? Have you any complaints? Higher and higher over valley and hill, faster and faster, up and up they soar, till time stands still. Then, everything is as it was before. <laughs> Down a hot and dusty road Tramps a soldier with his load Ten days leave he has to spend Will his journey never end? Marching home, marching on his way. all the day. Happy now he's home to stay. Hooray! Here we are. We're home at last. Good morning, Mrs. Gray. She's in her garden. Hello there. How's the world with you? She doesn't hear me. Never mind. Oh, there's Arthur. Hey! Hey, Arthur! He's mowing the five-acre meadow, a good old friend and true. <laughs> What's the matter? He doesn't reply. Arthur, hi. Don't you know me? Why, it's Joseph, Joseph the soldier. Joe, you remember him, you know. The mower mows on, and on we go. And there's the school with the tower and the bell. Joseph, old Joe, you remember him well. Here's the mill, the inn. Now, villagers everywhere, men, women, and children, stand and stare. What's the matter? What's up with a lot of you? <laughs> What's got into you all? Are you afraid of me, or what? You know me, all of you here. Joseph. No one speaks, and then a door slams, and another slams, and more and more, and the rusty hinges shriek as every door slams shut. Well, that's funny, he thinks, but mother will know. I'd better go. She sees him coming. She screams and runs away. So then he thinks, but there's my fiance, married with two children. Ah. Ah. The, the dirty cheat, the dirty rotten cheat. I know who you are at last. I know what's happened. I know you, I've, I've taken my time about it too. It wasn't three days. Three years have passed. They all take me for a ghost. I'm dead among the living. Oh, the cheat, the dirty. That, like a fool, I went and listened to him. Yes, I know. I was tired and hungry, but that's no reason to go out and listening to the likes of him. Do you take any notice of what people you don't know tell you? No. You say, I don't know you. 
But what do I do? I listen to him. I should have had my suspicions, but no, I listen to him like a fool. Like a fool, I had to go and listen to him, and I gave him my fiddle of all the luck. And now, what am I going to do? What am I going to do now? What am I going to do now? Ah, you dirty cheat, it's you. Now, what are you going to do? Ah, you dirty rotten cheat, please be a little more discreet to try to behave. Do you hear me, you? Good. Now, what are you going to do? Have you forgotten all I said? The book I gave you, bound in red. Oh, it, it's somewhere in my kit. Then you've got all you need, if you've still got it. And aren't you a soldier? Be one then. Show the ladies and gentlemen, on guard, attention. That's it. Put that up. Break ranks and stow your kit. There we are. Platoon, fall in, at the run, at ease, stand easy, attention, platoon, off caps. Here, take this one of mine. Mm, not bad, it suits you fine. Now then, take off your tunic, unbutton the throat, don't fall out, we'll find you a coat. Don't fall out, we've hardly begun. You're not finished yet, attention. What have you done? Oh, yes, you told me. Well, fetch it then. No, only the book. Now, back here again. Oh, be careful. 
Don't let it come to harm. You'll lose it like that. Put it under your arm. That book's worth a fortune. A fortune, you see. Hold on to it tight and listen to me. He takes the violin out of his pocket. This is mine here. That's yours there. Each to his own, and so all square. and began to read, and the words meant money. More money, and still more money, as much as a man could need. He used it first to set right his affairs, and became a peddler, a seller of wares. Come along, ladies, come by, for there's all shades and sizes. Black, navy, pale blue, Prussian blue, pastel, sky blue, beige, chocolate, fawn, dark gray, gray gray, pale gray, silver gray, russet, maroon, brown, khaki, unbleached linen by the yard, printed cottons, crept to sheen, silks and satins, pre-war prices. A peddler, first a seller of wares for a start, then he needed no goods, he knew all the tricks, by heart. Things go the way I want them to go. For others, only guess. I know. It's more than a book. It's wealth untold. You've only to open it. Lo and behold, you can have all you want. Your heart's desire. All the best things in life. Anything you require. While you have time, quick. Grab all you can. One day you'll be dead. You're only a man. Now, my old friend, you didn't lie. Because in the end, we've all got to die. First one thing, another. I've only to say this, that, and the other. Because I can pay. It's mine. All. He stops. All. Nothing. All, nothing. Nothing at all. What have I said? What's the matter with me? I have everything. Nothing. Now he can see. All you want, all the time, all wealth can provide, and they don't mean a thing. They are empty inside. False things, dead, rotten, you buy and sell, they are nothing, just an empty shell. Oh, to have still the things you had before, the real, the true, good things that everybody has but you, that you have no more, the only things worth having. Just to stretch out on the grass as you used to do. Good to touch, good to feel. Things that cost nothing that everyone has, that mean so much. These things are real. Things that belong to all the world but you. Saturday evening, weekend plans, watching the village at work in the garden, so many people with watering cans. The little girls playing Tom Tiddler's ground. You smile as you pass along the sun-baked wall. You settle down on the grass, and someone fills your glass. Things that are warm inside, the only ones worth having. They have nothing, and yet they have it all. And I who have everything, I have nothing. 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 How can that be? Satan, Satan, you've cheated me. What can I do? Does it say in the book? He snatches it up and starts to look. You must know 
You must know. Tell me how everyone, how all the others are happy. How is it done? You must know. You must know. You must tell me. Explain what I can do to have nothing again. The telephone rings. Hello. Sir, with regard to your current account, sir, later. The telephone rings. Later, I tell you. Later. The book must know the secret. Then answer me. What can I do to be as I used to be? I have been proud and envied, and in my pride, I am dead inside to the world outside. The devil, dressed as an old clothes woman, appears. I am rich, unbelievably rich, but all I give to be alive again, as others live. I am a ghost among the living. Please, kind sir, can I come in? What do you want? Just a few words with you, sir. But before I begin, if you'll allow me, you, you seem to have dropped something, sir, a, a book. You might miss. Now, what do you want? I explain, sir. It's this. I have a little case outside full of rare, precious things, sir. I'd be glad. No, thank you. Sir, for, for pity's sake. Here, take this. Sir, we have our pride. Nothing for nothing is the rule. Each has his little job to do. My case is just outside, sir. You'll please let me go and bring it in to you. Now, look, sir, look at these lovely things, watches, necklaces, and rings. Some lace, sir. No, don't be afraid, sir, to say so. It's true, of course. You have your wife. Each has his little job in life. A lucky medallion. Engraved on the back, no? No, every time. Now, what do you lack? A mirror, perhaps, no? Oh dear, what a shame. A beautiful picture, complete with frame, ah? That seems to arouse your interest, is it? No, still no. The same as the rest. Or would a little Fiddle be best. How much? How much? How much, I say? Well, as we're friends, I won't stand in the way. Try it first. See what you say. We'll fix a price. Let's hear you play. The soldier seizes the violin. He tries to play, but the violin remains silent. The soldier turns around. The devil has disappeared. The soldier hurls the violin with all his strength. He returns to his desk. up the book and tears it into a thousand pieces.
dusty road Tramps a man without his load Someone trudging on and on Many, many miles he's gone Over hill and dale he goes Where he's heading, no one knows He doesn't know himself he only knows he must get out, go somewhere else, because he can't go on the way he was. Nothing remains of all his fine belongings. He's thrown them out. Without a word to say to anyone, he has run away. And things are just the way they were, except, of course, he has no pack to bear. Is he taking the homeward road, the road he took before? Home, no. It's not his anymore. Now he goes the other way. Cannot stay. On his way. On his way. Marching on all day. Now he comes to another land, a village on the frontier, and an inn. He thinks, shall I cross over? He thinks, why not? He goes to the inn, orders a tot, drinks it down. Yes, and now what? Then he begins to look around. He gazes at the muslin curtains, curtains bound with silk cord, fine white muslin, scarlet cord, such fine white muslin curtains pinned around the leaded window panes where leaves stir in the wind. But what's this? Suddenly, the world outside comes crashing in again. Somebody starts to beat a drum, and someone beats a drum because the princess of the realm the only daughter of the king, lies ill in bed. She neither sleeps, nor eats, nor speaks, nor anything. And the king proclaims to the sound of the drum that whatsoever man shall come and raise his daughter from her bed, that man, the fair princess, shall wed. Just at that moment, a man comes up and says to Joseph, hello, chum. We've not been introduced, it's true, but, well, I've been a soldier, too. Old com comrades don't mind if you make yourself known. When I saw you come in and you were alone, I said to myself, have a word with him. He looks a bit down, I said. You can see at a glance, go on over. Who knows, this may be his big chance. A lovely young girl, what about it? A princess, too. Think of that. I'd say it was made for you. I'm married already, worse luck. It's no use for me. But you, my lad, you're young. You're free. Doctoring. Well, that's whatever you choose. Besides, you know you've nothing to lose by trying. You go. You say. I'm an M.O. She's cured. She's not. It's worth a shot. Why not? After all, why not? Goodbye, old chap. Many thanks for the tip. He's up, and he's out of it quick as a whip. He's up, he's off, and he makes his way to the palace gates. He gives a ring. Where are you going? The sentries say. Where am I going? To see the king.
for the band to play. The king received me, the king no less. He said to me, you are a doctor? I said, an army doctor, yes. Many have come, you know, but none have stayed. Oh, I have my methods, I said. I'm not dismayed. Very well, tomorrow you see the princess. It went off just as we thought it would. That fellow was right. So far, so good. Just think, a girl to call your own after so many years alone. A room in the palace dimly lit. The soldier is sitting with a pack of cards at a table. Why not? Why shouldn't the luck be mine? Ask the cards, what do you say? Six of hearts, 10 of hearts, queen of hearts, nothing but hearts, trumps all the way. It's true, why not, why shouldn't it be? I'll have a wife of my own, only for me. And what's more, a princess too. The devil appears at the soldier's side, holding the violin over his heart. Someone's here ahead of you. You were silly to be upset. You were rich and esteemed. You get a sudden whim, don't count the cost. And now, my poor young friend, you're lost. Six of hearts, ten of hearts, hearts all the way, you told yourself. It's my lucky day. Well, do you still believe it's true? I have my methods. I, not you. It's true what he says. He's got me for sure. He'll do the trick. He got the cure. I have nothing, nothing at all, once more. Go for him, just the same, knock him down, bang his head on the floor. He isn't a man, I can do nothing more. You can, I tell you, you can. Don't you see how it is? He's got you because of the money. You still have money of his. Get rid of that and you're safe. Go on, begin. Offer to play him at cards. He's sure to win. Will you play? 
I have money. What? I don't understand. I said, would you like a game? My, my dear young friend, I'm always ready for a hand. He'll win. He always likes to win. You'll lose, and he'll be lost. Begin. Notes, gold and silver, they're all in. Good. How much a point? A farthing, yes. Sixpence a point, not a penny less. Just as you wish, but best take care. No more fiddle, no more book. Only a few pennies left. And look, they play, the devil wins. The pennies are flying off into the air. You'll have nothing at all. Then where will you be? They play, the devil wins. You'll starve, my friend. S-T-A-R-V-E. They play. The devil wins. There, do you see? Total defeat. You'll go around naked, no shoes to your feet. They play. The devil wins. Raise him a pound. A pound. You, you're mad. How can you beat ten pounds? Deal off. Gently, gently. Not so fast. They play. The devil wins. Ha! I've won! Same as last. Stake the lot. I stake the lot. Ace of... Ace of spades. You've got... The queen of hearts. Again? It's me. I've won. Again. You see, you see, he's going to fall. I said he would. Listen, get up. Here's what you do. Give him a drink. It'll do him good. Say to him, here's a health to you. Uh, take this. It'll do you good. Go on, have a drink. Say when. Here's a health to you. And again. You're, you're very, very rude. That's not, that's not at all the way. Look out. He's going to fall. The devil falls back in his chair. Then his body sinks forward across the table. I'm free. I'm free! Now, he leans over the devil and tries to take the violin. Do I dare? The devil twitches. He's not quite out. Be careful there. The soldier empties the glass several times down the devil's throat. Ha! Oh, it's like that. All right, then. Eight, nine, ten. The devil is still. Now, take back your own again. The soldier takes the violin and, standing beside the devil, begins to play. Thank you.
princess, now we can safely say, he who will cure you is on his way. Soon now he's going to come to you, because there's nothing he can't do. Soon now he'll be outside your door, because he's found himself once more. Soon now he'll come to claim his wife, because he has been brought back to life. He's going to bring you back to life. princess's room. She is lying on her bed and doesn't move. The soldier enters and begins to play. She opens her eyes and begins to dance. <laughs>
soldier and the princess are in each other's arms. The devil appears. He circles round the soldier, sometimes imploring him to hand over the violin, sometimes trying to snatch it from him. The princess has taken refuge behind the soldier. The soldier has an idea. He begins to play the music. Contortions. The devil tries to hold his legs still, but is even more bewitched. <laughs> The devil falls, exhausted. The soldier and the princess fall into each other's arms. devil suddenly pops his head around the door. All right, I shall have to wait, but this realm of yours is not so great. He wants its frontier should be passed, then you'll be in my power at last. So do not push your luck too far, or then, then, my lady, you will find that you are back in bed again. As for her prince, he can't pretend he doesn't know my patience. Now is that an end? He who laughs the last, he laughs most, as I shall do to watch him roast. The devil disappears. The soldier and the princess are still embraced. not seek to add to what you have, what you once had. You have no right to share what you are with what you were. have it all. That is forbidden. 
you must learn to choose between. One happy thing is every happy thing. Two is as if they had never been. I have everything, he thinks. I always will have everything, he thinks. But one day she, she says, I know so little about you still. Tell me about yourself. Come on, tell me. started a long, long time ago. There was a cottage I used to share with my mother. I was a soldier then, you know. Far, far away. I've almost forgotten where. Suppose, suppose we went there. No, it's forbidden. Suppose we go. We'd be back before we were missed. No one would ever know. She looks at him and smiles and says, You want to. I can see you do. It isn't much to ask of you. Say yes. Say yes. Say yes. Why not? You want to. I can see you do. He says, come over here to me, not until you say yes. And so he thinks, if we did go, perhaps this time my mother will know me. Why not? Just to pay a call. And she could come and live with us. Then I would really have it all. They're on their way. They're nearly there. A scent he knows hangs in the air. He has gone on ahead to find the frontier. She is a little way behind. He calls her. He turns back, then changes his mind. The devil appears in front of him. He has the violin again and begins to play. The soldier hangs his head. He begins to follow the devil very slowly, but without resisting. A voice calls. The soldier stops for a moment. The devil waves him on. The voice calls for the last time. 